Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I like how they got this mana curved all the way over here like it ain't power. Oh, it's power. Now you're playing with power. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. I was going to I was going to take Blight Steel Colossus in case we got like uh No Mike B, no. Mike B has a job and he is at work. And uh, Mana Crypt is like Soaring, but instead of paying, instead of costing one, it costs zero. But instead of not taking three damage a turn, you take three damage a turn. What happened to Rob? Rob canceled on me again, unfortunately. <coughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I understand. Like, see, it's something, had, something came up, whatever, but... Still frustrating. Like, <clears throat> still frustrating to plan like your your Friday your stream, and then he's just he's like, oh, I can't do it. And I'm like, all right, well, it happens. Empire Strikes Back is a solid movie. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Spell Seeker, Fatal Push, Metamorph, 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 Metamorph. Maybe we do. Maybe we do this Cassius Stip. Cassius' Stip was Brown Town. Take all the brown cards. Choices on how to go up to you. I just love artifacts. Let's try that. I think I think we're in a good place to do that now. Add com. Stip. Go into Brown Town. <clears throat> and now we're either taking one Power Stone or Metamorph. I'm going to take the Power... I'm going to take the Power Stone because I want mana. I know Metamorph is probably a better pick, but... Uh, we might get. I want to maximize the number of of artifact mana that we, we we get. So that's what we're doing. Opposition, man, Winter Orb. Oh, that's Winter Orb, not this one. Uh, yeah, I, you know, if I could play John Williams songs on stream, I probably would. I think that'd be great background music. But unfortunately, I imagine uh, Disney or Lucas Lucas Arts or whoever owns the the rights to the John Williams soundtracks uh, might get a little upset with me. I imagine those are not in public domain. Chrome Mox is an option, but the problem is you're if you're playing a bunch of artifacts and it's like, well, you know, the odds of you having a colored Thanks. card imprint on, on Chrome Mox. Unies Joker, what's going on? Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate you. Um Could it just be Winter Orb. I don't love it, but with all if, if we already have a bunch of artifact mana, then like maybe. Everflowing Chalice also adds to that. Inkwell Leviathan's pretty good if we get Tinker. I'm gonna take the Inkwell Leviathan and maybe the Everflowing Chalice comes back. Maybe. <coughs> I heard the news tonight. Lightning Greaves, Sundering Titan. I don't think we want Sundering Titan now that we have Inkwell Leviathan. 710, this is just 711, it's just even better. Hangerback Walker's pretty good here. <clears throat> Lightning Greaves also pretty good. I'm gonna take Hangerback Walker. What if that Blight Steel comes back? Ooh, Urza. Urza's who you want in the artifact deck. So yeah, this step is provided by Cassius, and it just says take all the artifacts, and we can build it however we like. Sort of body and mind is pretty okay. Walking Ballista is probably the pick here if we're gonna go mono. 
Mono Artifact Orzov Signet. I'll take it. David, what's going on? Is this two sub babbies? Or is my nine is my sub babby nine months old? That's <clears throat> that's a good question. I feel like you're only really asking the hard hitting questions here. Charter course? Hmm, I don't think we're gonna be attacking. Relic of Progenitus is probably just fine. Metamorph came back? Wow, that's insane. Cassius, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> I didn't even see you here. Funny seeing you here. I'll take Shriek Maw, I guess. I heard the news. Boo -do 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 -do. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, maybe it's... I like Sphinx's relation a little better here. Let's heave some ups in this deck. If we get an upheaval, I will for sure take it. Also, we have a nice little white package here with uh, Terminus, Sphinx's Rev, maybe Parallax Wave. Yeah, Rev is something to spend on the mana, which is why I, that's why I picked it up. That's why I picked it up. Upheaval and, um, what's the other card we're looking for? I can't think of it. Tinker. Tinker are the two cards we're looking for. Inkwell. Also, I think Wormquell is pretty good. Uh, we're definitely not taking Armageddon, I don't think. Probably not taking, basically Skull Clamp? I don't care about it. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. The other day I drafted a blue eye control file with Bitter Blossom and the equipment. That was no, that was a mistake. Not Jitte, the other one. Yeah, Skull Clamp. Yeah, I'm just going to take Wormquell here. Ulamog is pretty good. <clears throat> so is Torrential Gearhulk as an artifact. Um, it's either Ulamog or Torrential Gearhulk. Actually, it just could be Ponder. Ponder is very good. Yeah, you know what? I'll go with Ponder, and I imagine at least one of these will table. Talarian Academy, huh? I'm going to take Talarian Academy because I don't love Smuggler's Copter in here. I don't think we're going to have enough creatures to really make it worthwhile. And there's nothing else in this pack I want other than maybe even Dilling Click, but I don't want to risk Talarian Academy not tabling. So we're going to take Talarian Academy. I think we're taking Ugin here. Or Glenelander Archmage. Jeez, this pack's great. <coughs> Old Pants Feed himself. Is it? <clears throat> Is it Old Pants Feed himself? Man. Oh, Ravager's War. Yeah, we'll take Ravager's War to go with the Armageddon that we took earlier. Uh, it's either one of these. I don't know which one it is. Cassius, I'm glad you think so, my dude. <clears throat> I'll take Lenin and Mage. Oh, Academy Ruins is pretty good here. I don't think we want Time Spiral. Teferi's pretty obnoxious, to be quite honest. Oh, uh, I doubt we'd wield a mage. Uh, Glenelan George Mage is pretty top tier. <clears throat> um, could be Academy Ruins if we get Mind Slaver. I'll take Academy Ruins here. 
Sensei's top? I really hate Sensei's divining top. Divining top? Divining top? Not gonna, not gonna work here anymore, that's for sure. Whatever, I'll take top. Lodestone Golem and Emery. Ooh, that's interesting. Also, Ancient Tomb? Oh, jeez. One card is gonna come back? God, I can only hope it's gonna be Emery. I don't think it's Emery here. It might just be Lodestone Golem, to be quite honest. Could be, war could be Ancient Tomb, too. We already have Mana Crypt, though. Like, I don't think we want to take that much damage, and I think Lodestone Golem just shuts other decks down. Kitchen Finks probably does table, but I can't imagine that... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> well, I heard the news. Scoot and doop doop and doo doo. <clears throat> Crucible's nice if we hit like Strip Mind or something. There's nothing else in this pack. Like, we're not going to take one of the double white cards at all. Like, we're basically mono blue right now. I think we'll just take Crucible. Um, take Sea Chrome Coast. Could take Goblin Welder and be blue red. Welder's pretty good if we get these in the graveyard. We have no way to get them in the graveyard yet. I'll take the Sea Chrome Coast and just hedge on like Sphinx's Rev, Terminus, etc. Welder's not bad, but like we have no reason to go red. <clears throat> Coast is from a whole yeah, it looks like it. you can tell it's got the, it's got that mirrored in ground. Torrential Gearhulk came back. We're going to take that guy. We have no instants right now, but we can get some. Plus, it's better than all these other cards, so. It's still a, a six mana artifact, so. I like Containment Priest, actually. And for white, it's a decent sideboard card. I think Tristani. We're not going to play Legion's Landing. This is pretty good if we get, like, Time Walk. Then we can just get the combo. No power so far, other than, like, <clears throat> Mana Crypt, which is tier 2 power. Council's Judgment is excellent. Yeah, our white cards are pretty good. Like, worst case scenario, we just play white-blue and have a bunch of basics in our... Wow, the Kitchen Finks. Good call, David. Good call. <clears throat> Nothing here. Boros Signet. Thran Dynamo is probably what we want here. I like Mana Leak, I like Force of Will, and I like Boros Signet. Um, I think we're just taking Thran Dynamo here. Yeah, Thran Dynamo is what we want. There's a lot of ways to play a turn 2 or turn 3 Thran Dynamo in the deck, so...
Strip Mine and Crucible, guys. Um, your Battlestar maybe comes back. Yeah, I like Battlesphere. I also like Strip Mine. Strip Mine. B Battlesphere might come back. We're taking the Strip Mine because we're living that dream. I would like to have more. If we can get like a, a blue Fletchland or two. Okay, I was aggressive. When were you aggressive? What did you do? Oh, wow. Yeah, you were a little aggressive. Jesus. I would like to have more lands that, that go with this. Fractured Identity might be enough to get me to play white. I would take Stone Cold Servant, but I, we actually don't have any... Like, we already have Walking Ballista and Hangerback Walker, so I don't think we're... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is a good enough card to play white over. Golos is pretty good, too. I heard the news. This also gets us white, so that's pretty sweet. I mean, I'd maybe prefer with a Solemn Simulacrum, but that's fine. Metalworker. The rich get richer, my dudes. God, I really want this Ulamog, but I gotta take the Metalworker, guys. Azorius Signet? <clears throat> On color Signet is what you're telling me right now? Good deal. Stoneforge Mystic. I don't think we have a single equipment, unfortunately. Trinket Mage. One or less. It can only get Mana Crypt right now. That's pretty bad. Oh, it gets Hangerback or, or Walking Ballista, too. I might just want Swords to Plashers, though. We have no white. Uh, we have no removal whatsoever right now, so. Faith Spetters. Lyra. I don't think I want a double white card here. I'll just take the Faith Spetters. Celestial Colonnade is fantastic as far as like lands go that uh, that do what we wanted to them to do. Battle Sphere came back. That's beautiful. Come on, Ulamog. I want that Ulamog one time. <clears throat> we can also put in Sphinx's Revelation now. We can also put in uh, Council's, <laughs> Council's Judgment is rougher because of double white, but... Stone Cold Serpent's a dude. It is an artifact. I will gladly play it. I don't know if we're playing Crucible Strip Mine, to be quite honest. Now that we're three colors and we already have Academy Ruins, Talarian Academy, I don't know if I want to dilute our mana base that much. Enlightened Tutor is pretty decent. Uh, Recruiter gets things. It's fine. Spectral, never going to play it, and Stoneforge. That's insane. <clears throat> this deck seems too fair. That's crazy. You sound like a maniac. Stoneforge gets nothing now. That's why it's immediately in the sideboard. Gearhulk does not do anything either. Uh, Fractured Identity is a sorcery, so no. Don't love Gearhulk. Do like... Uh, Sphinx's Rev. And I think this is probably... 
We have lots of things to do with our X spells. Yeah, this seems good. Play this as a land. We'll play Seachrome, this guy. <clears throat> Academy Ruins could be very, very good with these three. So we might as well just play it in Talarian Academy. And then we'll play like 8, 9, 10, 11, 4, 5, 6. 11, 6? Seems fine. We also have double white signets. Yeah, this deck seems great. Oh, take our Crucible. You get to add another card. Um, yeah, there were several cards we changed our mind about at the very end. God, I really don't like uh, Sensei's top. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny. College is like top? No, I really don't like top. I don't think it's great. I don't want Council's Judgment because it's double white. With six white sources, I'm really not, not a huge fan of a double white card. We also already have face fetters and sword supply shares and fractured identity, so it's, we're not like short on that effect. Why not crucible strip mine? Because if we don't draw one or the other, like if we don't draw strip mine and we have crucible, it does nothing. It's an actual blank. Enlightened tutor is probably the play here. Uh, you can spectral with colorless, but it costs infinitely more. Ooh, that was loud. <clears throat> I almost just want Enlightened Tutor to get, like... Yeah, I kind of like Enlightened Tutor here. Like, it gets it gets Battle Sphere, it gets Worm Coil, it gets Inkwell, it gets Hangerback or Walking Ballista or Stone Coil Serpent. It gets Faith's Fetters, Phyrexian Metamorph. Keep with two signets and a winter orb. Search for tomorrow. You're gonna make them mad, boy. Let me guess, Black Lotus to go with your Sol Ring. What? Nothing? <laughs> They're like, all I can get is Sol Ring, and I don't have that. Oh, that was really good. So we can play this, play Colonnade. And the next turn we have s 8 mana. So we can go Urza, Orb, Signet. Oh my god, Urza lets us tap the Winter Orb. Holy Jesus. That's insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You're going away to the bad boy. And they probably just have mana drain up, right? That's what we're assuming. Well, we can't actually assume that because they had to play double green to play Corsair, so. Um. Would you like to counter this? I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I bet you don't counter this. Maybe you do? I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Use one of these. Use one of these. Use one of these. <coughs> one and two. And there's the mana drain. All right. Well, that'll do it. I mean, they still have they have this land. Two from Sol Ring and two from I mean we knew they have mana drain, so <coughs> Yep. So they have Forest. So they have eight mana total. That could be very good. Uh do we sword the courser? No. Because if they tap out for eight and like play something ridiculous, then I'd rather kill that. Like Avenger of Zendikar or something. Guess they don't have double green, but still. So they play the forest. That is gone. And here's all eight of the mana because you have something to spend eight mana on. Edric for two. It's like, do I waste this other five? No, of course you have something else to play. Wow, perfect hand, absolutely perfect. Yep. No blocks. <laughs> Career hoof. Yeah, believe it or not, the uh The Urza would have completely put us in a much better position than we are currently in. I guess when your opponent has Mana Drain, Soul Ring. Three, four, five, six. God, Urza would have been insane if they didn't have Mana Drain. That's pretty ridiculous. Sphinx. Wow, their deck is great. And it's your boy. So we're going to take, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 if they shoot us. So we kind of have to block something. Or we just pop it. We just Celestial Colonnade here. It's going to cost all our mana, but the Colonnade is untapped still. Or we can Sphinx's Rev for three. Or 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we still die if we do this, right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I feel like this game isn't that close if we actually resolve Urza here and they don't have one of the most powerful the most powerful counter spell ever printed. Yep. Alright. That was fun. I kind of like Fairgrounds Warden because I don't think you're going to have a ton of ways to deal with it. Urza's our only double blue spell. Okay, another white. Cut an island. Maybe bring in Terminus? Not a huge fan of the double white, but. Take out Inkwell. Seems fine. Inky does have Island Walk. I'll keep this. I mean, we only saw a Ring, but they're playing Crater Hoof, so we have to assume that they're going to be playing Mana Dorks. Like, it's just that. It's a pretty easy conclusion to draw. Yeah, soul ring every game. Pretty good. I guess you pass with mana drain up. Seems good. Well, I'm not going to run this out there, so you get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana on turn three. So. Thank you. The Ziggs. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we'll just play Ballista for one. It doesn't do much, but... <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm going to keep my mana drain up for the rest of my life. I 
If only I had anything in my deck that could not be countered. Questing beast. On top. Seems good. It's like the perfect top deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't win this match just because they're holding up mana drain. Like, we have no spell we want to just throw away, and they're not just going to... Yeah, but I'm not going to throw a spell away just in, just under the assumption that they've f 6 Like, that's pretty bad play. I'm not going to be like, oh, I think they f 6 and there's no way they could press F5 really quickly and... Uh, and stop auto-yielding in order to mana drain. Like, that's... We have nothing to tutor for. Like, we're not just going to tutor for the sake of tutoring. Yeah, literally could be bluffing, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's... Let's see what you got it. Uh, we have fetters in the main deck. Yep, and here it is. Okay, so at least they're not bluffing. God, what the fuck were they thinking with Mana Drain? That's a ridiculous card. <clears throat> 12 mana. Sure. Oh, what up, Undrum Tuna? The Tuna has arrived. All right, let's see if Warm Coil does anything here. Atlanta edition, wow. 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 Well, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna control magic this guy and kill us this turn, so. That's my theory. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, classic. You're gonna let me block here? That's insane. 
Why would you just shoot me and attack for seven? Now I get to kill your Riftwing and prevent five? That's crazy. Oh, they're gonna shoot this in response wow that's 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 also great what that's insane why would you do that it's a bold strategy cotton let's see if it pays off for them okay so they can go use one one two three four five six seven if they have another green in hand they can crater hoof us that's pretty cool one And then we just hope we don't... Hey, I hope they don't have a green source. No green source. Or creature in hand, I guess. I guess having a creature in hand is also pretty good. Oh, God, yes. Oh, God, yes. Oh, wow. That's just beautiful. We have eight mana. Oh god, they're gonna what is this? What is this eight? Eight mana? You're gonna play eight mana too? Hydroid crafts is for six. Okie dokie. Draw three. Atlanta's cold and wet, and I already have seven years bad luck. Aw, because of a cutie little black cat? Now is the time for what, though? I don't know. We can metamorph and copy their... Oh, wait, they're both X creatures. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not lethal. Face Fetters also puts us... I think we have to Face Fetters this. 1, 2, 3, 4... This comes to play tap, doesn't it? Why? What up, Crutz Jr.? I broke a mirror on accident. That's a yikes for me, dog. How can I look at my deck? Is it possible to do that? I don't think so, man. If they have Crater Hoof, we're dead, right? 6, 79, 10, 15, and they each get plus 4. So that's 12. 27. We'll be at 18. We can block 6. So we can block 24. We'd be dead. Oh, man. My problem is only doing one thing this turn. I really wish we had one extra mana. Yeah, it's literally just gotta be face fetters. Don we know our fates fetters fa la 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 fates fetters la 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 These are fates fetters all day no 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 Oh man that's something I think we're dead but it's okay Another forest Acidic slime the face fetters.
never don't have it. I played Magic this one time, I think years ago, and they didn't have it, and I was like, wow, that's insane. No, that's not true. My response was like, that seems like a normal fun game. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't as jaded as I am today. You'd be less dead if you played modern. Yeah, but I'd be more dead inside. And that's the and that's important. Keep snap keep Snap it and keep it. Modern has the yeah, modern modern has crater hoof too. I'm not safe there. Modern does not have mana drain though, which is just good to know. Fine, let's compromise Pioneer. <laughs> Caitlin, you're just a pretty uh you're a pretty you're a much bigger constructed fan. Is Parallax Wave on the board? Yes. Yes, it is. Wow. Mox Pearl, huh? Seems good. Imperial Seal, huh? Yep. All right. Well, that's something. Don we now our gay apparel? I wish I had one more minute to glint on George Mage and keep a counter spell up. But I don't, so I'll play this metal worker. La 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 la. I saw Sweet Pioneer deck tonight. I want to play. Can you send it to me so that I may also see it? I too wish to see Sweet Pioneer decks. Oh god, they're gonna they're gonna reanimate this immediately. Cool, fun game. Oh God. <laughs> oh, sometimes you just want to die. Oh, relic. Thank you guys. Solid suggestions. <laughs> Bring in the relic. It, it deals with artifact. It deals with graveyards, and they brought something from the graveyard. That's good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> yeah dude i was like whoop going in immediately not even close not even close we need one more cut though good lord got the winter orb i'm not like the winter orb's really pissing me off oh my god it's a demonic pack deck and you didn't even you haven't even shared this with me before now wow Come on. It's messed up. Oh, this hand seems bad. This hand seems juicy. I'm dumb. I would forget. I don't believe that's true. Eh, I'll send one of these guys out of here. Contain Priest and Fracture Identity feels good. We're not dead yet, guys. We're not dead yet. You got it. Are we seriously going to get punished for not playing Mana Crypt? Uh, I guess we're not. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh... So it was a three for two. They hit one more card than we had. Sure. I mean, this is just this is just the price you pay for Vintage Cube, right? Like your first round opponent goes Mana Drain, Mana Drain, Crater Hoof, Crater Hoof. Your second round opponent, like oh, your first round opponent also had Soul Ring both games. Your first round opponent goes Soul Ring, Mana Drain, Crater Hoof, Soul Ring, Mana Drain, Crater Hoof, both games. Uh, your second round opponent reanimates Emrakul on turn two off of a Mox. So like. And then second game, mind twists you for three. So, like, off of a mox. So, our first and second round opponents had 
Soaring, Crater Hoof, Mana Drain, Soaring, Crater Hoof, Mana Drain, Mox, Mox in all their games. Mox, Mind Twist into Mox. Uh, Corpse Dance Emrakul. So it's like, I mean, you know, that's just the this, is the, this is the format we have chosen, so it's hard to be too upset. It's easy to be irritated, but it's hard to be upset. That's my, that's my motto right now. Don't we now Well, that's pretty good. Sometimes I just play this because I really like to, I'd, I'd like to actually get to a point where like we can start attacking, but I think it's actually more important to just get them. So what you're saying is that arcades we get? I don't. You know I don't think so. Sure. They have no creatures in the graveyard and no creatures in their hand. Or no creatures in play. I'm gonna cast that guy. Oh, they played their second mox, so that's pretty good. Well, we lost our containment priest. And they got a gristle brand that they can just bring into play right now. Oh boy, man, this 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 game has been brutal. We have Metamorph though. I guess we can. Yeah, they get to take an Enlightened Tutor. Four, five, six. We have seven mana. We can go Metamorph, Urza. That seems pretty good. Wow. Never mind. It would be I actually was I would have been surprised if they didn't have it being four different cards that that deal with our our answers. Um, but you know, as it stands, not not as surprised. Oh boy. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. We have seven mana for a Sphinx's Rev. Is four cards good enough? Maybe. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh, Clambert. Thank you so much for your sub, buddy. Boy, it definitely feels like. It definitely feels like more than nine months. So just to be clear, uh, our opponent has hit Contain Priest, Fractured Identity, and Enlightened Tutor out of our hands. Um, the first two being completely incidental. And all three of them are ways to deal with a Gristlebrand. So we've got that going for us. And they've taken the Phyrexian Metamorph. So. And we're definitely swinging in. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing this turn. So. Some guy posted about pants feet video on your Facebook. Pretty sure they stole a clip from a horn seller I know. I just linked to him. Maybe he will get it to... Wow, that's... I don't even know. Wow, they're at two now? Jeez. The old pre-combat...
And of course you have corpse stands every single game. Of course you do. All right, haven't won a game yet. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They tell an old tale of the man who didn't have it. Legend says that the man didn't have the exact cards they needed to beat me. Hard to reckon now if they're just stories of a time people needed to believe they wouldn't always have it. I still believe though. Back in my day. I owe through to the bad storm yesterday. It was pretty fun. Hmm. I guess we'll just load stone. I am dead inside. I am. Colonnade seems are in Academy when we can't actually cast any of the cards in our hand with a Colonnade. That's not not my feeling. Like we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Like we couldn't cast we can cast this and we can make a six six, which is I mean, doesn't really do much. I'd much rather be able to cast both of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can can't cast this guy, unfortunately one away I 
I mean, Elspeth's on two. We have an Inkwell Leviathan, which, has, which I mean, like, we also have a Battle Spear, which we can just literally attack and target Elspeth with next turn. So I'm really not too worried about Elspeth eating us. Well, we're definitely bringing in more white and terminus at this juncture, so. I mean, we just tapped it last turn to make a mirror battle sphere. Oh, you mean like again, I guess? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. Can we top deck a walking ballista? That'd be pretty cool. You think they got crater hoof in hand and they're just slow rolling to figure out the damage? Guess not. This is fascinating. Oh, they just wanted to flip their Adonto? Sure. Let's see what that brings. The problem with this is we don't want either of these. We really don't want to take the worm coil and then be stuck with the other ones. So I want to just shuffle. <laughs> oh shit, that's good. Attack Elspeth Sunny Boy. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. And done. We haven't played a land this turn, so we're probably just gonna... Um, how many do you want to draw? Six, probably? Eight, nine... Kind of funny that we did not draw a two mana card to play here. I guess we can just play Hangerback Walk. Which we might be on board for just because they have a lot of attackers. Alright, well, we'll discard a. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mana. I think Metalworker is probably a little too cute at this point. Put ball on top of deck before Sphinx? What does that mean? Seems like a lot of damage. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Block you. And block you, I guess. And block you. And I guess block. What does this leave us at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2021, 2022, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 creatures. We have to block at least 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not impossible. This is basically free. Thank you. 4... Um, we can't do it like that because we have to have to keep a white. Um, so we keep a white in the pool. M White, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, if we keep a white in the pool, we get a three and dynamo. We can Urza. I kind of want to put something on top next upkeep, which I think is, I guess it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. I think we have plenty of mana. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Means four get through. Archmage. Yep, I'm just gonna pass here. I'll just waste the mana. I think that's fine. Oh, actually, we could have. Uh, eh. Yeah, we're just going to sit on this. Because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blockers, and they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attackers. So 3 will get through. We can let the 3 1 1s get through. And if Mere Battlesphere dies, it'd be great because then we can put it on top, but. I mean, I'm just assuming they're going to crater hoof us, so. What up, Dark Pope Bill? Well, considering we are 0202, we have been better. But, oh wow. All right. Block you. Block you. Block you. No, you get, you block here. Block you. Block you. Block you. Block you. Block you, block you, and block you. And we have Glenelanger Archmage. We're at four. And we can counter any spell. Oh, 
Oh, he definitely should have activated Urza. But I was way too concerned with being alive here, which might cost me the game. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. Okay. Let's bring in Terminus. Let's bring in Council's Judgment. Take out two islands. <laughs> Winter Orm seems really bad. Um, anything else good? No, 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 no. Fairgrounds were next to me pretty good here. Um, I don't love Wave because it's not going to get rid of their guys permanently. I got the serpent, I guess. And I'll just play 41 because I'm a maniac. This hand's really rough. Not only do I have a terminus in hand, we have two lands. I'm going to keep it because we're on the draw. Any land. Not like this. Whew. Okay. We did it. Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Do it again. Pay eight here. That's pretty good. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can fracture identity, but we can't also play Glenelinger Archmage. Oh, Metamorph is interesting. Exile Gideon. I'm real tempted to just terminus here. I think we exile Gideon. So they can deal four to Gideon. Gideon goes up to five. One, two. All right. Well, they have two cards in hand, and we have a Terminus for any future creatures they may play. I haven't slept for 10 days, because that would be too long. What does that even mean? All right, so we're definitely going to wipe the board here. Uh, at least we're going to... Getting goes to two. That's fine. Two, 
1934. Oh, wow, they didn't... Oh, it's Terminus. Ha! <laughs> Why didn't we attack first? I don't know, because I didn't think Gideon would stick around, I guess. Oh, well, our hand is still great. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I totally forgot it was Terminus and not Wrath, guys. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to read these chats and get your jokes. When I say things like that, I'm not blaming chat, just to be clear. I'm not like it's chat's fault. I'm just trying to explain why the uh, the discrepancy took place. Four, five, so we're gonna go. Um, I guess we can actually play this guy first, then play this guy, and then we have double counter spells up. Yeah, this seems good. It's all our fault. You heard him, guys. It's all our fault. All right, so you got face fetters and a tree speaker in hand. Because someone in chat, someone in the YouTube comments was like, "Blames the chat." Blah 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 blah. I'm out of here, and I was like. I'm not blaming the chat. I'm just trying to explain why it's so easy to misplay. That feels like a pretty reasonable thing to do, right? I'll take it. Give me something good. You know what I want. Yeah, it's not great. Two, three, four... Copy the Archmage. Now we got infinite combos. We get on top. Mox Emerald. Do -do 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 because now if they want to play Face Fetters, we can Glenlinger Archmage it with this and then copy the Courser on the way back down. So I'm okay with it. I'm just hoping we don't draw land here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, well then, we drew a land. Pew, pew. All right, let's see if we can win this race. I like that we both have face fetters in hand. Well, this hero blade hole is getting face fetters for sure. Hey, might as well might as well upgrade this. You got it. You got it. You got it. So many, so much upgrading. Something good. That's something good next turn. What can it be? Well, we know they're drawing Hero Blade Hole, so that's fine. Avenger. Oh, Jesus. Yep, you got it. So they're at seven. Yeah, I think they're just dead here. All right, well, we won Tude, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think we just get Inkwell Leviathan, right? Walking Ballistas in the trash can. Yeah, seems fine. The reason being that we know they have face fetters, so I don't really want to have something that's going to get riggedy riggedy wrecked. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. Perfect. One, two... I guess we could also reveal something, huh? Two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, okay, cool.
I did reveal something. I showed him. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Check me out on patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, I should be having YouTube memberships coming soon. So look for that either this weekend or on Monday. So if you guys watch exclusively on YouTube, definitely check out the membership tiers and let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to have a $2, $5, and a $10 for those who want to subscribe and support me on YouTube since you're already there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Cassius, thank you so much for the opportunity to the stipulation. I apologize that our first two rounds were absolutely bonkers, unfair to us. But that's the cube, and that's the that's the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. You got to take the good with the bad. You take it all, and then you had the facts of life. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>